If you're over 35, you probably remember this moment 25 years ago vividly. TV cameras were fixed on Edward and Grace Corrigan, parents of teacher in space, Krista McAuliffe. We all watched in horror as their faces changed from celebration to confusion to grief in a few short moments. I met Grace Corrigan five years ago at Cape Canaveral with a group of teachers from the Twin Cities. We were at the Kennedy Space Center to learn about teaching rocketry and the space program. Brad and Julie Blue, leaders of the Minneapolis Gems and Guys programs, brought Grace to Florida to spend some time with us. One of the stops on the tour of the Kennedy Space Center was a small conference room where Grace told us all about Krista. There was not a dry eye anywhere. The teachers also took a trip to Colwood, West Virginia, hometown of Homer Hickam and the Rocket Boys, featured in the movie October Sky. Grace joined us for some of these trips, too. Whenever she talked to people about Krista, she reminded them that her whole reason for going into space was so she could teach. And when, of course, the opportunity came to be a teacher in space, she was so excited to think she was going to have the best field trip in the world. <laughs> but she couldn't wait to be up there to teach those lessons and get the kids excited about education. Grace traveled with us in West Virginia. Everywhere we went, she was a celebrity. Grace Corgan. But we claimed her as one of us. <laughs> You're a celebrity! <laughs> the real reason she was with us, though, is to keep the memory and legacy of Krista alive. She loved teaching, and it was something she never started out doing. As you, you know, she was a historian, she loved history, and um, <clears throat> she taught her students through journals. She had said to me once, Mom, I wish you had written a journal for me uh, so I would know what your life was like. And I said, Krista, I can't even stand to write letters. I, I really <laughs> hate to write letters. <laughs> Krista always intended to return to the classroom. Oh, absolutely. Well, that was the one statement she had made. If the teacher in space does not return to the classroom, something's wrong. <laughs> And she, she definitely was going to uh, return to the classroom. She missed her students tremendously. Uh, the night before she flew, she was writing recommendations to her students for college. And after, of course, then the next day, of course, the shuttle went up, and a lot of her students called and told me how they received the letter afterwards. Grace's husband, Edward, was never able to get over his anger and bitterness over a tragedy that didn't have to happen. He died of cancer four years after they lost Krista. Well, it was completely their fault. They never should have left it off. It was the most foolish thing. That, the, um, that whole night before, the engineers worked all night trying to convince NASA not to launch. Mm -hmm. And Krista had called us the night before, and she said that uh, it's definite we're going up tomorrow. And afterwards, we had engineers at our home from around the country that had been down there. People lost their jobs and all, and uh, saying we which kept telling them not to launch. Those O-rings were not safe. Uh, in fact, there was one that he used to call. He was sweeping floors at some place. He couldn't get a job. He was blackballed mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. And he was in one of the engineers that had walked on the uh, down at NASA. She did make a difference, and she made a difference for teachers and for schools, but she wanted us to make sure that the kids felt that they were important. Because she used to say to the kids, you know, do you know how important you are? You are very important. You're going to be running this world someday. You know, that's how important you are. You've got to learn. You've got to do the best you can. You've got to reach. You've got to stretch yourself. That was her whole purpose. But, uh, but anyway, things don't work out the way we always want them to. But in another way, so many good things have happened, and so uh, you have to look at it that way. The courage that Grace has shown and to really carry on Krista's mission and accomplish what she, what she wanted to accomplish, as Grace said, maybe if the circumstances have been a little bit different, but she's really, she's been able to carry that on. 
she reminds us of, of our responsibility to Krista and the, the dream that Krista had and I think that all good, great teachers have. Through her mom, Krista's message, message still exists and still moves forward and, and she's going to continue to do that, I'm sure. She's willing to spend time talking to you and you know, so proud of her daughter, but wishing that all the teachers can keep doing you know, what, what Krista had wanted to do. So it, it gets me. Grace had heard about a statue that had been made of Krista in West Virginia. It included pennies collected by school children, but she'd never been able to find it on several trips. Finally, in 2008, she did find it. The other day when we were at the, the statue that they had finally discovered, mm -hmm. and Krista was writing in a journal, and I had never remembered seeing that in any particular thing, so I asked Grace about that, and she said, well, that was the journal that Krista was going to write. And then tonight, we have Krista's journal that Grace continued.